Hey team, I hope you're doing incredibly well. Kat Miller here. Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you a tool that I created called the Weekly Client Attraction Rhythm. What the Client Attraction Weekly Rhythm. <laughs> uh, can you just give me a yip in the chat box if you can see me and hear me okay? I am away and I'm never quite sure whether the internet is going to behave. So can you just give me a Y for yip? Uh, I've plugged in hardwired, I've bought a booster, I've done everything that I can. I'm up at Point Stevens and the internet's just not quite as good as it is in my place. So I hope you can hear me and, and see me okay. Uh, so this weekly rhythm that I'm about to walk you through will show you five actions that you can focus on each week. Uh, which will help you focus. It will help you get the blinkers on. I know there's so many things that we could be doing in business. And this is something that you can get into a habit with and have as part of your routine, which makes it so much easier. There's a great quote, um, well, it's not even a quote. I think it's more of something that Gary Halbert said in the one thing he's talked about how discipline, you only need discipline to get a habit going. And once it's going, then you just rely on autopilot. You rely on your subconscious mind to uh, kick it into action and just keep the ball rolling, keep the momentum going with it. So with these five actions, let me just fix something here. Uh, once they become on autopilot, you can pretty much rely on them and it's almost impossible for you not to get clients consistently if you take these actions. Uh, so, uh, I've also written a guide for this. It's just a simple guide, but if you want a written copy of the guide, which is a bit of an overview, just pop a, pop a guide, just write the word guide. And let me just tag someone here as well. Uh, just pop the word guide in the chat box if you would like a copy of that, and I will send it to you. So pop that in the comments now. Uh, pop a hashtag live if you're here with us live. I'd love to know who's joining us. Uh, pop, pop a hashtag replay if you're catching this on the replay. So great to have you here. If you haven't already, grab a pen and paper and get ready to make some notes because I'm going to be dropping some notes, dropping some gems here. So we want to make some notes as we go through. Uh, so let's dive in team. So here are the five things. If you're ready, just drop an R for ready in the chat box if you're ready. So this is called the weekly client attraction rhythm. And I created this for my clients. And so I'm sharing a, a taster of it with you today, but I am sharing all five of the things with you today. So let's dive in. The challenge if you don't have a weekly rhythm, and by weekly rhythm, I mean a plan, a a set weekly schedule that you have. Now, I don't mean a rigid, tight, a rigid, tight, inflexible system that you have to follow and you can't be creative. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you open your laptop and you're not sure what to do on a Monday morning, uh, you, you have a, a really nice, simple plan that you can follow for the week. The challenge if you don't have this is that you don't know what to focus on. You don't know what the most important things that you can focus on are. So what ends up happening is that you waste time in consume mode. And by consume mode, I mean scrolling and looking at other people's content rather than creating your own content. So when you know exactly what you need to output, because the five things I'm going to share with you are the output items as opposed to, oh, I'll see what other people are doing. I'll do some more research. And we all know we can dive down rabbit holes, we can get lost, we can have so many tabs open, we can have lots of little things started, but we haven't actually finished anything. And you don't get that feeling of accomplishment. You don't get that real feeling of satisfaction that your email list is growing, your Facebook group is growing, you're connecting with more people and you're uh, moving people along the journey towards becoming paid clients. And what happens if you don't have the right actions is that you end up not having consistent leads. And so you don't have people that you can actually turn into clients. But the opportunity, if you do get this right, if you do have a weekly rhythm in place, it means that you build strong business habits that you can rely on. I love this quote by Aristotle. He says, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. So if you can build some strong business habits every day, every week, every month, every quarter, which is um, 
what I teach my clients to do in the Inner Circle program. Today, we're just focusing on the weekly. Uh, but if you know what to do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, you're going to get build that momentum like a snowball. And you're going to create really great habits that you can rely on. It also means that you create assets that grow your business. Entrepreneurs create assets. They don't just show up and respond, but they create. Uh, you know, amateurs, the word amateur means you're not getting paid for your output. So it's the difference between a professional and an amateur is are you building? Are you building assets that you can use in your business as opposed to just little bits and pieces of content? And then thirdly, you feel more in charge and in control. You feel more like a boss because you know exactly what you need to do. So let's dive in to the five things that you can do every week to get more leads. And if you've just joined us, pop the word guide if you would like a, uh, a written overview of this, the weekly rhythm, and I will send that to you. Just pop the word guide in the comments and I'll send it to you. So five things you can do. Here we go, team. The first thing I, I recommend you do every week is create a resource. And a resource is a free gift that you can gift to your community. Now, you might gift it to your free community, or you might gift it to your paid community, or you might do both. What I recommend for most people is that you really leverage the things that you put in your paid community you draw things over and share them with your free community, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. I created this for my paid clients and then I'm sharing a taster of it. I'm sharing what to do in the paid community. I go into a lot more detail because we have a lot more time. So I go in a lot more detail of actually how to do it. But a lot of the free content that I give is, is snippets from what I've created for the paid community because otherwise you're doubling up and that takes a lot of time. So if you want to save time, I recommend that you create resources that you can leverage across both your free and your paid. And so when I create something for my community and I put it out there, uh, then when I send that to people because people request it, I say, hey, who wants a copy? And people can raise their hand and say, yes. Then people get a taste and they get to see what, you're all about and they get to start experiencing you uh, and then you can nurture them you know when you create a resource you can build a relationship you can you can invite them to your Facebook group you can <clears throat> invite them to download something they can go on your email list you can continue to provide value and look after them in their journey because not everybody is ready to buy right just because you're ready to sell something doesn't mean people are ready to buy so we want to make sure that we look after people on their on their client journey the second thing i recommend is that you share a value post every single week at least one value post if you can do more i recommend more if you can do two posts three posts four posts five posts a week go for it, but at least share one great valuable post. And think about where you can post besides just your personal profile, your business page, and your Facebook group. Think about where you can go and help your neighbors. Your neighbors are the people hanging out in other people's groups. So where can you show up and value bomb, literally share something super valuable in other people's communities? without a call to action, without offering anything, without saying, hey, contact me if you want more or download this or, or here's my website, none of that, just literally just putting out value. Can you imagine the flow and effect? If you did this once a week, that's you know around 50 a year, but imagine if you did it three times a week, 150 times your value is going out. So this is about building a snowball. It doesn't mean you're going to post and get a client it means that as you're consistent you're going to start getting more leads and the more leads you have the more likely they're going to turn into pay clients the next thing I recommend you do every week is record a video now ideally you record a live video like I'm doing right now because with a live video people can rely on the time especially if you do it consistently every week like for example I turn up every week on a Wednesday at 8 p.m I'm away on holiday at the moment but I still turn up and I'm not saying you have to obviously you can do 
whatever you want. But I love showing up and sharing to my community. And because I've already created this for my paid community, I don't have to think, what am I going to post? Because I've got so much content that I can draw from. So when you're consistent and you, you show up live, obviously Facebook will notify uh, your community if you do it in your group, for example. Or uh, if you don't want to do it live, you can do a pre-recorded video. Of course you can. The challenge is not as many people will see it. And a lot of people will see it on the replay. Even if you do it live, a lot of people catch the replay because they'll, they'll get the notification later or they'll, they'll see it later. So if you haven't done a video before, I encourage you every single week, practice recording a video. If you're a coach or service-based business owner, people need to get to know you, your mannerisms, how you talk, the value that you provide, your tonality, so that they can start to see whether you're the right fit for them. And so if you're not showing up on video, uh, people, you're, you're invisible. People can't find you. People can't connect with you. There's no bridge. But when you do show up on video and you do it consistently, you get better at it. The next thing I recommend you do, <clears throat> excuse me, is develop a presentation. Imagine if every week you started uh, developing a signature presentation. By this, I mean a masterclass or a webinar or an event, a retreat, something that you run that becomes an asset for you. It's not just a live video. It's a, a talk that you give where you can actually invite people to take the next step action with you. So instead of thinking, oh, I've got to practice this 90-minute presentation, imagine if every week you just develop your slides a little bit more. Maybe you, you included a new story, you thought of a new metaphor, and you found a, an image for that. Uh, you just practiced your intro, you practiced a certain content piece, and you kept developing that every week. It's going to get better, right? <laughs> of course, it's going to get better. And the better you get at presentations, the more likely you're going to get more clients and more great clients uh, that really connect and resonate with you. And the final, the final thing I recommend you do every single week is send a value email. So when you send an email out to your community, which is valuable, it has really great content, it's got maybe one great piece of content or three key points and maybe share a little story. You give, you give people something every week, at least once a week. You might want to do it two or three times a week and you might connect people to your Facebook group. You might share, like link them over to a blog article on your website or you might just put value in the email itself. But imagine doing that consistently and people being used to opening your emails and going, oh, I got really great value. So those are five things you can do every single week. I recommend you get into a rhythm with it. Now, obviously, I haven't shared the how to do it all, which is really the key is you might already be doing some of these things, but it's how you do it, the way you do it. And there's a few pieces that we need to make sure are in place to make sure that this actually works. And so if you want to know how to get clients consistently by applying the client attraction formula that I've created, which has helped me to grow a six-figure business over, you know, in the first 12 months, and it's helped hundreds of my clients over the years, over the last six years. I'm sharing the best of what I've learned and the best of what I put together in the recent one-day workshop called Client Attraction Mastery in a masterclass, which I'm actually running next week. It's a free masterclass. It's live and it's online. It goes for two hours, and I'm diving deep into the four keys that you need to consistently attract amazing clients. It's a a formula that um, you can use. It's for you if you're a female coach or expert or course creator or author or speaker um, and you want to make more money, you want to get more clients, help more people, make a bigger difference and create more freedom and flexibility in your life. So I'm showing you how to automate this so that you're not having to be chained to your laptop so much so that you're able to have the freedom and able to look after people even when you're not there. I'm showing you how to create really compelling content that attracts the right people to you. I'm also showing you how to attract soul-aligned clients that feel like your best friend. 
growing your audience, growing your Facebook group, your email list, and doing it in a way that feels really authentic to you and really elegant. Not in a way where you have to do these cold DMs or spammy things or hustling, none of that, in a way that's enjoyable and fun and really simple. So if you want to join us for Client Attraction Mastery Masterclass, uh, just pop the word masterclass in the comments right now. If you're watching this later on my page, just private message me the word masterclass and I will, or, or just yeah, DM me the word masterclass and I will get you the invite for that. I'll send you the link and you can check it out. It's happening on Thursday, the 16th of June at 7 p.m. Sydney time. I'd love to see you there. I know you get a lot out of it. It's the best of the best content uh, all in one masterclass. So thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. It's been really fun. Let me just recap the five things in the weekly client attraction rhythm. Um, the first thing is to create a, a resource. Secondly, share a value post. More than one if you want, <laughs> of course. Three, record a live video or record a video but ideally live four develop a presentation move it along and five send a value email so if you're ever thinking what do i do today i'm not sure what to do i'm getting stuck and sucked into things i'm in consume mode go back to your rhythm if you do this consistently it's almost impossible for you to not get clients consistently mm -hmm. So if you want to join us in the masterclass, again, just drop the word masterclass in the comments now or message me the word masterclass. Thanks for joining the, for tuning in. Until we meet again, take care, big love. Bye for now. See you soon.